what's up guys welcome to my video today we're gonna be installing a new fuel level sensor on my 2013 infinity g37 so the reason why you might need to replace this uh, fuel sensor is because these infinities are known for after like a quite a lot of miles you could see my fuel reads at three quarters tank but in reality right now it's pretty much at e or like maybe an eighth full i noticed this happened about like three four months ago I was driving and I was like, wait, I've been at the same exact amount of like gas for like a couple of days now. And I was like, that's not true. So I went to fill it up with it being at three quarters tank and I fit like 50 bucks worth of gas into my car. So if you're having the same issue, I'll show you guys how to fix that in this video. Start off simply, you could go on Z1 or there's probably other websites you could probably get it off of. But I went on Z1 Motorsports, literally search up your car model and then put fuel level sensor and it'll send you right here it is the new fuel level sensor in my car so this is the fuel level sensor itself um it should be a pretty easy install all you gotta do is i'll show you actually i'm not gonna explain it and then when you order one i recommend going ahead and just ordering a new gasket as well it's like seven bucks off z1 um why not if you're already in there might as well but Let's get to the next clip of removing the actual OEM fuel level sensor. Since I'm already gutted, my seats are already out. But to get to this point where you can't, where there's no seats, it's really simple. On this side, you have a tab right here. And on that side as well, all you got to do is pull this out and push the seat up. And it'll pop out of that side. Same thing on that side, pull it up pop it out and then this whole entire seat the even if these even if the reclinable things the thing that you're leaning on are still on you can still just pop them right off and then that'll get you to this spot right here where you can see where your fuel pump or the fuel fuel level sensor sits driver's side right underneath the rear seat to get this out just get a flathead or i think it might be even a screwdriver or even pliers all you gotta do is twist this 90 degrees so you can see it aligns with the oval right there. And then this whole thing will just slide right out. All right, so boom, 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 and last one. Boom, and up. Maybe give you some leverage. Okay. This should just pop out right there. And then right here, you're gonna have a little clip. Just push this down and that comes right off. And then this piece right here, just let it hang for now. Get back to that later. Now this might be really dusty, as you like, you can tell it's horrible. So I'm gonna wipe that down real quick, just so no dust gets into the actual fuel tank itself. And then after that, it'll just be as simple as I think it's, it's either a screwdriver or even an eight mil socket. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of those. You remove those, and then this whole thing just uh, it's like a little O-ring that pops off. And then this right here is your actual fuel level sensor itself. So we'll get to that. All right, one thing, guys, I did not realize how short these are so just make sure when uh taking it out you realize how short they are and you don't screw it and then drop it because i just dropped one into here and i'm probably never gonna get that back in my life so uh just when you get them loose just start finger there we go see how easy that comes off and then after that this o-ring that i was talking about pops right off and then this just twist out just like that and then boom there you are, your old fuel level sensor. And this blue O-ring looks fine, but we're gonna replace it regardless because we have a new one, so why not? And then guys, the exact same way you took it off with this sensor facing towards the front of the car. I'm gonna put it right back in. And actually you can see right here, there's a little nipple that'll go right into here. So you're just gonna align that up just like that. Boom, you're gonna feel it click in like that and then uh you're gonna repeat the process put this ring back on over the top and then just that's pretty much it guys you're gonna put, uh, connect that back into here and then boom be able to just plug this back in to here just like that here a little click put this over top just like that and then just with your flathead come back here go counterclockwise because we went clockwise the other time and then that right there should conclude your install so really simple install it's like building lego just gotta unplug something unscrew a couple of screws and screw them back on and plug it back in it's really really that simple 
Um, but hey, if I if I helped you fix your problem, I believe it's a P zero four six two code that might pop up on your um, OBD or DTC tool or whatever scanner. If that's the code you're having, I believe it should say fuel level sensor circuit one low or something like that. Just go ahead and buy that. It's a pretty expensive part. I believe the sensor itself is like 120 bucks, but now you're not gonna have the issue of running out of gas when your fuel uh, gauge says that you're, uh, you are on full. So yeah, if you, have guys, if you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know what else you wanna see. Some more drive-alongs or whatever. Check out my other video. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.